So War Flags is basically just a group of lads and lasses who we volunteer our time to try and make the display as the best we can be and to try and encourage the team to, to play to play well basically and to create a bit of atmosphere to get behind them on match day and have this place rocking. started um, in the championship under Rafa, I think it was under Gallagher Flags then and um, I, I remember plenty of the, like, the first game back in the championship, uh, lost to Huddersfield but they had flags all over the Gallagher and just remember thinking this doesn't feel like a club who's just got relegated and it really lifted the mood and the atmosphere that day, it was like despite the fact that we got beat 2-1 off, off Huddersfield, sorry. Is like the place looked great, and there was a bit of a feel good factor, even though we had lost our first two games of the championship. And that's part of the reason, really, of what the flags are about. To say that, like, it's certainly at that point, the product on the pitch might not have been anything special, but we can do our bit as fans to get behind the players on the pitch and to make the atmosphere as, as loud as it can be, and just to try and encourage the players to perform, basically. Who kind of does the designs and, and what's the process involved in that? Uh, so we've got like a, it varies to be honest, we've got like a few people who, a few people who can do the designs and especially for like graphics and stuff. But um, we all have, uh, everyone's welcome to have an input on what gets put in really. I mean, we will vote on everything. <laughs> I, <laughs> honestly, regardless of how tiny it is, this seems to be, we'll, we'll vote on everything. But it's just like all part of trying to like make all of us Everyone in the group can have a say basically and just, just because one person suggested it doesn't mean that you can't have a suggestion and so we like to try and keep things as open as possible and just, yeah. Right, so we'll see that you guys have launched a beer. Obviously, beer and football go pretty much hand in hand. It's called War Beer. Uh, the design, the graphic on it looks absolutely incredible. It tastes amazing as well. Where can people go to get it if they haven't tried it? So yeah, um, so it's a partnership with us and Anarchy Brewery and like, but those are like, those, I'm sorry, well. Sorry. Um, they've been just incredible with us and like, yeah, it's a, a great, like since we've since we've got involved with them, they've been just really helpful and like they've even came and helped us setting up one of the displays. Um, yeah, and so it, you can get it from I think there's a link on our website and there's a link on their website as well where you can get it. Um, yeah, so if you order spend more than fifty pounds, you get free delivery. How, how did it come about as well? I can't remember if I think they I think they approached us. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just an idea to. It was just an idea to. I can't remember who had the idea, but I just thought that it would be a really good idea, and it's what the. Um, and since since it's launched, it's just been like, it has been a really supportive response to it. Really, um, like it's sold out so quickly, and it's like they've just they've, they've actually just recently restocked it, uh, so you can get the cans direct from them. But if not, there's. There's plenty of different bars around the city where they've got it on draft, or some places have some places have the cans. So um, yeah, I think that I think that information is on our website. Yeah. Is there a design that War Flags is most proud of, or a display that War Flags is more, most proud of? Um, I think 
the Arsenal game last year definitely covers that. I mean, like the process for setting that up was absolutely massive, and I just, we're here basically that full weekend and and before that, and um, like, almost like but that, that being the last one before the summer as well, and just like it felt like a point to like, mark off the like the displays that had been before that like during the season they like, all felt incredible but like that one that night just it it felt it felt special and um like we even have like that like arsenal all or nothing documentary on amazon when like he almost forgot about it and then like showed the footage of the stage and back there with the like, with the gold and the blue like blue star of the gold outline just love it looked incredible and like, it was all part like that just kind of sums up what War Flags is about really because like for that day like I think it was Dan Burn like there's a quote, quote from Dan Burn saying he walked off the pitch and was just like lads if you if you can't get up to play in this then like you're never gonna you're never gonna get yourself up for anything. So like creating that like obviously <laughs> I don't I don't think any of us have it in us to do that every single week. I, I think we'd be spent. But um like that is really in a nutshell what we want to do we want to make this place look incredible we want to like when when our when our players see it we'll be inspired to perform for us